Hello, YouTube. How y'all doing this morning? Sorry about the bonnet. Um, you know, don't miss the message getting wrapped up in the mess. But um, I'm going to hit y'all with my intro, and it's gladly chosen, keeping them woke in, doing a little bit of exposing and shining light. So subscribe and like. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Um, as time go on, you know, like I said, I am severely dedicated to what I'm doing. And, um, you know, I'm going to be doing things to improve my appearance. But right now, I'm just trying to get the method and, uh, and the message out because it's really things I have and I want to get off my heart. So what I want to discuss this morning, and excuse my French, but I want to speak about sorry people. Sorry people. That term is a lack of better words. That term, I don't really like using. But the truth of the matter is, that is a true term. There are a lot of sorry people out here. What I mean by sorry people is, you know, um, I never think nobody's less than. Everybody has capabilities. Everyone on the face of this uh, earth has potential. They have, you know, um, talents. They have gifts, but the thing of it is, is the sorry people, which are the people who always, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Where do you think the term originated from, calling people sorry? Because they're always saying they're sorry. And it is a good thing that people say that they're sorry, but sometimes it's not genuine. Most of the times it's not genuine because they turn around and they uh, commit those same mistakes. But the Bible tells us to forgive 77 times 7. That's a lot of times to forgive people. So, I just want to say there is, a, like I said, a lot of sorry people out here. Um, the reason why a lot of people are that way is because people are not held accountable for what they do. If people are held more accountable, they will not have, uh, have room to be able to, you know, be sorry or or have an excuse for something all the time. But, you know, um, it, it starts from the household. It starts from the household. Um, a lot of times, nowadays, it's better, well, just from the beginning, it's, it's a, a large percentage of, um, you know, parents that would just shelter their kids, shelter their kids, male and female, won't won't uh, inspire them to get a job, won't inspire them to go to college. A sorry mindset, you know. Then when they come to be adults, they don't have any ambition about themselves because they've been so sheltered. So every time something go, goes up, you know, in the adult life, when it's time for them to be responsible, I'm sorry. better in life, but the ones that don't, they have that sorry attitude, you know, it's very detrimental to our community, um, so, you know, that's why, that's why, you know, I'm, I'm going to just say this, go to church, come to church, and go to church, and be around a lot of people that believe on social service. Nothing's wrong with that. But when you have that mind frame and say, I don't want better or I'm not going to do better, I'm complacent. That's ultimately a sorry attitude. And uh, to be honest with you, uh, it's, it's probably my selection. And, and, you know, now that I have discovered what I've discovered, I have to branch out. When it comes to uh, success and being happy, I really do have to branch out because, you know, sometimes.
right away. Strong women, men, and 